Late nights, screaming fans, and of course, loud music. Choosing to be a musician is not something that is considered easy, but if it is a passion, then it's all worth it. For the Kitchener band, Courage My Love, it's been a passion from a very early age. Uh, we've pretty much been writing songs and stuff our entire lives together, which is pretty sweet. Um, and we didn't really start the band until we were 14, but I, don't, I can't even remember how yeah. long it's been since we've been writing. <laughs> but when we first started it, I don't think... I think we just started it just because we wanted to have fun and make music and stuff like that. And now that it's becoming more of a career choice rather than just a hobby, we're really excited about it. But I don't know if we ever actually thought it was going to be more than just jamming in our house or whatever. So Now they have released several music videos, a demo CD, and have a distribution contract with Warner Canada under their own record label. Homeschool prom records, but still, it hasn't been easy. The three of us are pretty much best friends, so and we're sisters, yeah. so it's awesome. I'd say probably the biggest struggle we had was like um, the first time we ever went into like a real studio, and we're actually trying to lay down tracks. That was probably the hardest thing we had to do as a yeah. band, just because um, up till that point we, we weren't really used to recording with like a click track or anything like that. So when we finally went to like a real studio, we're like, wow, there's like an engineer and like all this stuff. <laughs> We were kind of a little bit freaked out, but it ended up, it worked out. And we write all our own music, like to this day, it's always been that way. And someone, I think our manager suggested that we try bringing in a writer oh, just yeah. to see like if we liked it or not. And we all really hated it. Yeah, and it was just like a really, two days of just like struggling those, those and like tears and stuff. Yeah, or, like, so it's like, yeah. And we basically, as soon as the writer left, we just like scrapped the song and yeah. started from scratch. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I'd say that was probably one of the mm -hmm. hardest moments. Yeah. You, know, you sometimes feel nervous and stuff on stage. Like I used to get the worst stage fright of all time, but uh, the more you get out there and do it and feel confident with yourself, the more you are, I don't know, just more confident and happy. And yeah, you basically just practice makes perfect, I guess. Courage My Love is just one of the many bands who have played at the nightclub Envy in Brantford. Co-owner Stephen Day has seen many bands come through. So we usually have like independent promoters that come and they put on their shows here. Like Courage My Love. But Day admits that although having a live band playing is great, having a DJ is more reliable. So profit-wise, profit, profit wise, DJs usually work. You usually have a consistent 500 people for a DJ. Most bands started out in places like this or even smaller places, you know what I mean? And you, you know, if you can, if you can rock out to couple hundred people and they enjoy themselves, you'll, you'll definitely make it as long as you stay persistent. I think that with bands, the hardest thing is to stay together and keep um, everybody on the same page and focus, right? They put their heart and soul when they get on the stage, so, you know, so they're, they're good. And as long as they continue to have that persistence and drive, they'll do well. I don't get to follow every band all the way to, to them getting signed, but I mean, some of the bigger bands are actually independent bands. You can sometimes make more money being independent, right? And not, because basically getting signed, as far as I see it, is just like getting a bank loan. And when you get a bank loan, you gotta pay it back and you've gotta pay interest, but you're, you know, you're paying a lot back. So there's a lot of successful bands that aren't signed. Success to me is not only getting signed, just having a good time, having some fans and doing what you wanna do. A lot of times you get signed and you don't get to do what you want to do. Courage My Love is not a band that you would see every day. Two of the members, Mercedes and Phoenix, are twins. David joined later on. Um, we're twins, so we're both 18 and... I'm 19. 19. It's an interesting dynamic, to say the least. Um, like the only times that I feel like left out, per se, is like during practice, sometimes one of them will be like, oh, let's go from this part, and they have like the twin connection, so like... <laughs> They don't even have to say things, like they, they know what they're talking about and they'll just kind of jump in and that's the only time I really feel left out. Um, but like other than that, like in press and all that, I don't, 
I don't see a difference. So yeah. it's That's yeah. To this That's day, great. we're still like, you're the new member. You have to. You yeah. Know. Even yeah. though he's been in the band for so long, it's like he's been in the band for like, he's almost like, like years. two and a half years. Yeah. And so. every every time, like every time, like, every time I say I don't want to do something, they're like, oh, it's your initiation. <laughs> <laughs> Because of their young age, they're having issues with them playing in bars with age restrictions. There's, I mean, there haven't been a lot of instances because normally, like, patrons are pretty cool about it. But um, I, know, I just know there was this one time when we played in uh, this club in Toronto, and uh, I think it was mainly like an, like a 19 plus club, and we basically they made us, they made me and Sade stay in the basement, and they like tried to lock us down there, and they wouldn't let us out until like. Bef right before we played, and there it was, was like yeah. literally a security guard standing yeah, outside like, at the, the door, so we wouldn't leave in case we. Got and in. yeah, it's it's really funny because it's really dry and like dusty down there, so we're trying to like warm up and we're like choking. <laughs> it was just it was just a funny experience. Um, what's a funny one? Oh yeah, one time the weird thing about playing nineteen plus shows is that it's normally people who are older than we are mm -hmm. who are listening and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, but also sometimes they'll be like really drunk people, so they'll be going totally crazy like um, we played scene fest and there was this one guy and I swear it was like five o'clock or something not even yeah, late. Yeah, late. And he was, at the uh, right after yeah. we played he was like I didn't know he was drunk but he was just kind of like hey high five yeah can I shake your hand and I just gave him my hand and he literally put like all my fingers in his mouth was which was pretty gross oh, so I pulled so my good. hand away and it was just kind of like Ugh, it was just really gross. Uh, so that's one story, I guess. I haven't had really any awkward encounters. It's more like making sure they don't have yeah. too many. <laughs> this one time there was this drunk guy who was like trying to get on the stage and like reach for me basically and then David just like goes in front and like starts playing his bass and the guy just kind of like pieces yeah. after Yeah, that. he just laughs. It won't be long now before Courage My Love can perform in any bar in Canada without having to worry about the age restrictions. And it seems more than likely that there are big things to come for this band. Thank you.